Now there's some of those videos that I just never posted to the Warped Perception YouTube channel because they were either incomplete or just didn't have a lot of context behind them, but they were still really cool to see. This is one of those videos, one of those off the wall things where you know nobody really even thinks about it. I was just checking the capabilities of this V2512 uh, camera and I said, you know what? Let me get this chain cutter and cut a soil pipe, which I've done in the past, and film it at 30,000 frames per second. So that's what I did. Jesus Christ. I love showing people cool stuff and I think my plans moving forward and I'm still experimenting with this is anything that's a full episode has a lot of context science and explanation behind it that basically something you would see on TV is what I'm going to post on the warp perception channel and everything else including the behind the scenes footage from all the other projects outside of warp perception that I work on are gonna get posted here a lot of times I think I'm just gonna post this footage that I have on my PC and it doesn't look that great and then once I actually look at it and put it together it kind of has the same feeling and I just think to myself well it really doesn't look that bad it kind of looks like it belongs in an episode but it just lacks some spice or just some wholesomeness and I love creating an emotional connection it's just kind of what I'm good at but yeah, you tell me what you think, where I should create the line of separation from what I should post here and what I should post on Warped Perception because Warped Perception is a brand and with any brand, people have expectations and that's kind of where I ran into a roadblock with that. But I'm not trying to have people subscribe to like a bunch of different YouTube channels, but I am trying to keep the content consistent. And one of the benefits of having a personal YouTube channel versus a brand is that there's very little expectation as to what you should post unless you go all out and say, this is the type of content I'm posting, which in this case, I'm telling everybody it's just random things that I shoot all the time, things I find interesting, things that happen throughout my life as I'm prepping for shoots and just conceptualizing and that's about it. So that's what you can expect. And I think that's a pretty general expectation, but it all falls into the one category of being interesting. That's my goal. That's why I'm here on this earth. So tell me what you think. Hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching.